possible revenge as Nigerian soldiers evade notorious terrorist camp, brutally eliminate over 100 terrorists in an ongoing battle. So guys, let's quickly hear the details of the report. In a significant display of military might, the Nigerian armed force have made considerable progress in the ongoing battle against terrorism and criminality across the nation. Over the past week, the military neutralized 147 terrorists, apprehended 381 suspects, and rescued 113 hostages from captivity. The Director of Defense, Media Operation, Brigadier General Edward Buba, disclosed these achievements during a press briefing in Abuja on Thursday, underlining the effectiveness of current military operations. According to Brigadier General Buba, the military successes were boosted by the recovery of a substantial arsenal of weapons and ammunition. Among the recovered items were 74 assorted weapons and an impressive 3,498 rounds of ammunition. The cash included one DSK heavy machine rifle and Haro PG bombs. Ten fabricated rifles, among others. Additionally, the troop recovered one FN rifle, one revolver pistol, a locally made pistol, 27 magazines, an AK-47 domin rifle, among others. Items in the Northeast region, the military operation. Hadikai delivered a severe blow to terrorist function and their factions. During the week, 81 terrorists were neutralized, 52 suspects were arrested, and 34 kidnapped hostages were freed from captivity. Additional 94 terrorists comprising 19 adult males, 26 adult females, and 47 children surrendered to the troops, signaling a shift in the region security dynamics. The North Central region also witnessed significant military operations with troops from Operation Safe Heaven and wide stroke eliminating 17 insurgents, arresting 101 violent extremists, and rescuing 27 kidnapped hostages. The operation underscored the military commitment to restoring peace and security in the region, which has been plunged by violence and unrest. In the Northwest, the effects of operations Hadarin, Daji, and Wire Punch resulted in the elimination of 39 terrorists, the arrest of 192 suspects, and the rescue of 50 kidnapped hostages. The troop also recovered a substantial cache of harms, further weakening the operational capabilities of terrorist groups in the area. Meanwhile, in the South-South region, 
the military's operations, data safe made significant strides in combating illegal oil buckling and refining troops recovered 920,800 liters of stolen crude oil, 88,760 liters of illegally refined diesels, and 7,500 liters of petrol. In addition, they discovered and destroyed 15 dog hard pits, 17 boats, 62 drums, one receiver, and 27 storage tanks, as well as 84 illegal refining sites discovered. The operation also led to the neutralization of one terrorist, the arrest of 23 suspects, oil thieves, and violent extremists, and the recovery of nine assorted weapons, 10 magazines, and 63 rounds of assorted ammunition. In the Southeast Operation Udoka, continued to make inroads against violent extremists. The operation resulted in the life-taking of nine terrorists, the arrest of eight violent extremists, and the rescue of six kidnapped hostages. These actions have contributed to the stabilization of regions which has been beset by separatist violence. The southwest region was not left out of the military robust operations. Troops from Operation Awasi apprehended five violent extremists and recovered four AK-47 rifles, a locally fabricated pistol, and 110 rounds of 7.62 special ammunition, among other items. So guys, what is your thought about this? Please kindly drop your comment on the comment section below.